who taught you to hate being what God gave you. Their hastening doom is lost in the gloom of dust and ages. But it really doesn't matter with me now, because I've been to the mountaintop. Father Buddy Reyes, yes. um, who is part Filipino and Spanish, um, he immigrated from the Philippines to the United States. So, why did he decide to make that journey, and how did he adjust to living in the U.S.? He came because of political uh, pressure, because of uh, because he had been outspoken against the Marcos regime. Uh, President Marcos had been in power for a little while, and uh, my father, who had gained some notoriety painting pictures. Uh, for instance, for the Vatican, commissioned by the Pope, um, and had, had sung on tour with Bob Hope, the USO tours, and done other things. Um, he, he had some, I think, a little bit of a platform, and he used it to speak out against the administration. And so, again, due to persecution, they literally put a gun to his head a couple of times, and, and he figured uh, he'd be uh, safer. So he immigrated to... Um, uh, to the U.S. Um, so at the, at the time, he was legal, but the INS was still figuring out sort of what to do um, in terms of the status. And so he was kind of in a no man's land in terms of what to do to progress forward. They weren't giving him citizenship yet, but they were also um, you know, saying, we, we want you to stay. And so in that time, he eked out a living um, painting on the streets like for apples or dog food or whatever people would give him in exchange for his paintings. Um, he, living in pretty humble circumstances in downtown Los Angeles, he heard about an art contest. Um, it, was a, it was a national art contest that Coretta Scott King was sponsoring in memory of Reverend King who had been slain um, in, in uh, the early part of 1968. Somebody had approached my father and said, um, buddy, you should enter this contest. There's some prize money. And my dad thought, you know, I don't even have money to buy um, oils, acrylics to, to actually paint. I don't have a canvas, I've got nothing. And there was an old neighbor of his who was blind and, and had some really old dried out paints. But this man was kind to my father and said, buddy, I'll give you everything that I've, that I've got. So my dad um, was able to get some, some oil and mix it all together with the paint. And he took the cupboard off of his little apartment kitchen you know, cupboard, uh, unscrewed it, took the handles off, and used uh, just those old paints, really kind of roughly, to create a portrait of Reverend King. And he also had in there um, kind of juxtaposed uh, a a silhouette of Mahatma Gandhi and kind of in the clouds and the uh, ether behind Reverend King uh, faintly you could see um, Jesus Christ just his his features his friend submitted it for him and it won for um, Los Angeles and then it went on to win in the regional uh, all the way to the state for California so it won uh, best of show in California and then it was California's submission for the national contest, and it ended up winning nationally. And so Coretta Scott King was very gracious. She and her lawyers uh, helped my dad, again, just petition to make sure that his status would be um, solidified. I, I remember him commenting to me, he said, I went to, they flew me out to Atlanta, and I had two senators from Georgia sitting next to me saying, don't you love this country? You know, this is the American dream. You're here and brand new. And, he said, I do love this country. I always have. Um, I, I just want to make sure that <laughs> I stay in the country and then there's no problem because if I end up going back, you know, my life's in danger. Um, and uh, they did help him establish himself. He was uh, able to gain citizenship. Um, and, and it was just a unique part of growing up hearing um, the influence of Dr. King. Um, of course, on a you know, macro level, a social level, but on a very real and personal individual level, how he affected our family. I mean, he was one of the ones through the influence of winning that contest and making the connections with um, uh, political figures and um, social leaders like Coretta Scott King that helped him um, establish himself here 
both um, in terms of you know his status, and uh, they gave him prize money, which he used to you know launch a uh, an art career, an art career that later on saw him paint pictures for the Apollo 11 moon landing, that was shown in the Smithsonian Museums. Um, it's considered to be one of the, you know, uh, in the nation's art treasures. Um, and he went on to paint, you know, pictures and portraits of people like Gene Autry and John Wayne and uh, Magic Johnson. And it's people that I, you know, grew up watching come to the house. And um, he, was a, he was a highly regarded artist. So, you know, that whole, uh, his whole career here in the U.S. started from that, uh, that experience, but, but I have tried to, uh, in my private life and in my public service, emulate some of those same principles that Dr. King um, always referenced. <laughs>